Hello there and welcome to Greetings from Florida, a weekly roundup of the horrible news stories to come out of Florida. Yes, Florida. It's like an open petting zoo where everything's trying to kill you. In our first story, a 26-year-old woman finds out that even Floridians have standards. Yes, while attending a local beach cafe, the woman reportedly removed her top and began erotically massaging her breasts and nipples in front of all of the guests and staff. The most amazing part of the story, no one seems to have recorded this. And we searched all over to try to find some sort of image or video of it, and there is none. If you happen to have video evidence of this, please report it directly to Google Images. At least one of us will be checking in regularly. In our next story on Florida-based romances, this is how you do not attract a woman. A Florida man basically attempted to woo a woman by aggressively stalking her, attacking her with a rake, and then finally burning her trailer down. Here's some helpful advice. After the first restraining order, you should probably give up. In an example of Florida problem solving, You'll find that an effective debate tactic. When you're in a spirited argument, you can pull out a pair of nunchucks, swing them around in your opponent's face to weaken their position. You can then drive away in your car, and then when you're questioned by the police, feign ignorance. But however, you should probably get rid of the nunchucks. That's what this Florida driver did, except for the part where he didn't throw away the nunchucks. And that is clearly the only thing he did wrong here. As an update to Florida alligator news, a man was arrested when it was discovered that he was letting his son keep the alligator as a pet in his room. When questioned on the subject, the man said that he wasn't aware that it was illegal to keep a super predator in a small glass cage in your child's bedroom. These laws exist because we know you're going to flush them down the toilet. In other news, a teacher's commitment to sexual education has finally landed her in jail after seven years. Yes, apparently she was having sex with a 17 year old and engaged in Congress with him over 30 times in the back of her truck in the school parking lot, once even leading to a pregnancy, which she immediately terminated. And then the relationship continued. There are two other previous reports of her engaging in inappropriate and possibly sexual relationship over the years which only proves her tenacity for the field of education. Speaking of predatorial reptiles and insatiable predators, Florida has a new infestation of cat-eating reptiles patrolling around the suburbs. Yes, the African Nile Monitor Lizard, which is a five-foot-long lizard that can eat cats. I stress this, it can eat cats! If you haven't seen your outdoor cat lately, you might want to just go ahead and get a new cat because it's probably been eaten already. Florida man experienced the most undesirable ass pain ever as he impaled himself on a police station spiked fence while high on Flocka. The man was at the Fort Lauderdale police station checking to see if he had any arrest warrants when he spontaneously decided to try to make a break for it and climb over the police station fence when he impaled himself through the front of his leg and out his asshole. Remember kids, don't do Flocka. It is some dumbass shit. Yes, we cover many, many stories before we print them out, and every time we see Flocka, it's always a terrible story. We cannot stress this enough. There are plenty of drugs to do. Do not do Flocka. In our last story tonight, we have a man attempting to get into the Guinness Book of World Record for domestic abuse. A Florida man inebriated on rum and marijuana apparently beat his girlfriend with a metal pipe poured rum on her, set her on fire, and then crashed her Lexus with both of them in it, he threatened to slit her throat with a knife, and then drove away from the scene of an accident. When he was later pulled over by cops, he said, She's the one that hit me first! The people from Guinness have refused to officiate on anything involved in this incident, and overall have made a note that they are very disappointed with Florida in general. This week's episode has been brought to you by the Exotic Animal Trade. The Exotic Animal Trade bringing more dangerous reptiles to Florida every day. Well, that's it for this week, everyone. Until next week, this is Nick and Mike saying, get us the hell out of Florida. Oh, God. Please get us the hell out.